Welcome to Adventures in Science. This is a channel where we aim to help parents and educators make STEM and science fun for kids. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Plays Circuit Fun Kit. Uh, this is a series of experiments in electric circuits. In this video, we're looking inside the Play Circuit Fun Kit, 26 electrical experiments for ages 8 plus. This costs about $30 on Amazon, and if you go into the description below the video, there'll be a link where you can purchase. And this is an affiliate link, uh, but it will help my channel out if you purchase it via this link at no extra cost to you. So let's take a look what's inside this kit. The most obvious component is the circuit board, which has a series of electronic components built in. So there's no small parts to lose. It's all ready and there to connect up. As well as the circuit board, there's just a few other items. It comes with a small instruction booklet, which starts off by explaining electronic components. It then goes through a series of experiments, there's 26 in all, and it gives you what the circuit looks like and tells you how to wire it up. You also have a couple of other components. You have this strange little device, which is a blower. Um, and there's a little top that goes on that. And this blower is designed to work with this little foam ball. That'll be kind of fun to see. And then you also have a series of wires uh, these are all wrapped together. There's some short ones and some longer ones. It's for wiring up the electronic circuits. And finally, you have a couple of little springs which uh, are used to connect the blower. And it doesn't come with batteries, so you need two AA batteries. So the initial setup it's fairly straightforward <clears throat> with the circuit board. Uh, the batteries obviously go up the top here. We're going to show how to put the blower on. It's very simple. It just pushes into the top here. And then you push these little springs into the circuit board. And you'll see that these springs match the springs that are on the rest of the diet of the circuit board. So that's what comes in the box. Uh, I'm going to try a couple of experiments to give you an idea. Uh, but before that, if you find this video useful, uh, then please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the little notification bell so that you can receive uh, indication of of my future videos. Now because I want to see the blower in action I've decided to do one of those experiments. So I've wired up the blower into the circuit board and I've put the wires off the battery terminals uh, into the same place. What you have to do is you have to bend back the spring on these terminals and then you have to drop the wire into the spring, which is not too complicated, but if you've got to push more than one wire into the same spring, it can get a little tricky. But I'm sure with practice, it becomes a lot easier. 
The experiment tells you which wires to connect together. So for example, it might have the sequence 2, 4, 6. So that means I've got 2 here connected to 4 and also connected to 6 on this LED. And for example, now I need to connect 5 to 24. So here's 5 over here. And that has to go all the way across the board to 24 over here. And it becomes very clear straight away that the, these circuits are not going to look very tidy. Well, maybe people are tidier than I am. And here's the final experiment, which looks like it does two things. There's a push switch here, which when I hold up, the little LED turns on and off. Fantastic. And then there's a real on off switch, and that's what makes the blower go. Oops, we've lost it. Let's try that again. And I guess we could do both at once. Great. Here's another experiment to demonstrate a variable resistor. So on this one, it's connected to the main switch. And as you can see, the blue LED comes on. And watch the blue LED as I adjust the variable resistor. It gets dimmer or it gets brighter. And that is a great demonstration of how resistance changes the flow of electricity. Great little experiment. Some of the experiments also demonstrate logic, such as AND and OR and NOT. And this is one of those experiments. This is wired up as an AND gate. So basically this LED here is wired up via two switches. Now, of course, AND implies that you need switch A and switch B for the light to go on. So of course, if we press either of the switches independently, nothing happens. If you press both and the light goes on. So here you can see the experiment I just ran and it gives you the circuit diagram, which pieces to connect with the wires. And then it gives you a little matrix of the logic. So that was the Plays Circuit Fun Kit. I hope you found this video educational as well as fun. And stay tuned to the next video where we'll take a look at another kit.